Hi, this is Robbie with Tickner Photography. Today I want to talk a little bit about macro extension tubes. I finally decided to go get some to do some extreme macro photography in conjunction with my 100mm macro to try and get these pictures of bugs where their head is gigantic. The macro lens, 100mm macro, gets you close, but with extension tubes, it just, it'll take it to the next level. It's like super macro. So, these are Vivitar macro extension tubes that I got on Amazon. They were relatively inexpensive. They just dropped in price. I got them on sale. I think they were $65. They weigh a fair amount. It feels like they're part plastic, part metal. The mounts are metal, which is good. Effectively, an extension tube is a hollow tube. It moves your lens further away from the sensor, so it lets your lens focus closer to the subject, effectively magnifying it. While an extension tube is on, I don't believe you can focus to infinity, but you're going to be doing stuff close up. There are some extension tubes that you can buy that have no electronic connections to the lens. I opted to get the extension tubes that do have these connections. What these connections do is they'll allow autofocus. I don't use autofocus when doing macro work, I just leave it in manual. But the other thing that it does is it allows the camera to control the aperture. I don't have any older lenses with manual aperture control, so I need my camera to be able to open up my aperture to what I tell it to, say f12, f14 for doing macro work, so I have a little bit of depth of field to play with. If you didn't have these connections, the lens, the aperture is on a spring, so it'll snap back down to 2.8, and your depth of field is going to be minuscule. So this set of macro extension tubes, it comes with three tubes that are 13 millimeters, 20 millimeters and 36 millimeters tall and they can be combined together or they can be used individually and there's no lens element in here it's just a hollow tube but it should let us focus quite a bit closer so I'm going to do a little demonstration here first I have my 100 millimeter macro lens on my Sony Alpha a77 and I'm going to use it at one-to-one -one magnification the entire time, so my focus is not going to change. It's going to be 100 millimeters, one-to-one. And I'm going to take a picture of a penny. So first I'll take it with a lens alone, then I'll add the 13 millimeter extension tube, then the 20, then the 36, and then all three extension tubes together on top. Let's try an experiment. So first, just the 100 millimeter macro lens and a penny. Let's see what we get. All right, and there we have a penny. Next, we're going with a 13 millimeter extension tube and we'll see what this looks like. Okay, so there is the lens with a 13 millimeter extension tube and you just saw a picture from that. Now let's push it to the 20 millimeter and we'll test that. So there you have it with a 20 millimeter extension tube. Now let's put the 36 on and see what that looks like. All right, so there's with 36. Let's stack them all together and see how close we can get this. It's odd, it seems like we're losing a little bit of light as I extend this out. I'm having to adjust my lights a little bit. And I'm not sure if it's just the lens hood that is now covering up. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was the lens hood casting a shadow or if we're actually losing light somehow. There's no lenses, but it is further away from the sensor. Another thing to note is that these type of magnifications, your depth of field is microscopic. In many cases, you'll probably have to end up do using a technique called focus stacking, but that's a different matter altogether. So now that I have these macro extension tubes, I'm going to go out and try and find some bugs to take some pictures of. I hope this helps give you an idea of what a macro extension tube is and kind of how to use them and what they'll accomplish. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'm going to go out and look for some bugs to take very large photos of. Thanks. Bye.